I would love for, I'm sorry, what I would love for us to do as a people is to get into a job and actually get to know what's going on at the top level of a job. Because it, the job you're going to is a company, unless you work in government. And see, and that's really a facade because when you're going into a government job, it's just like a, it's, it's, it's just an unending, a never ending saga of nothingness. You know what I'm saying? You're just in there doing the same thing. I mean, seriously, like you can't get, you barely, you barely, you barely can get fired. You know, unless it's an act of God, you're going to automatically, for the most part, get you a, a, a raise and you sit there and do nothing. Now, if you actually do something, you know, you seem like a rock star and it's cool. But like, let, let's go to a private sector firm, a private firm, law firm, whatever kind of firm, a private business. If there is a company culture, a true company culture. And sometimes if you can get to the hierarchy, you understand what the company culture is. And then you have to identify, see if you identify with the culture, not the people, because we get too personal with this thing when we go to work. And you, ha you, you have to get identified with the company culture. What are, are they trying to do? Because that's when you really get to see, it don't matter how good you are, because a real company system, you can get a dummy off the street and it can still work. Let's, let me show you. McDonald's, the greatest system ever created in the business. They just got 15 year olds and they just run it. It's not, it's not about that. It's not about that. So when you have when you're in these jobs and they want you there for a certain reason, and you go to the right job, then this, none of this won't even happen because they won't even be putting you in that type of situation. Now let me just talk from an ownership perspective. You you we do that every day because what happens is if I know how I want my company going, it don't, I'm not seeing color. It's person. I'm saying I don't need a person to come in here with their ideas telling me how to do what I'm doing. I hired you to do this, you know? And so, and if this person is not a specialist in hiring, I'm not talking to them about that. But at a small company, they try to make everybody do everything to save money. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to understand, don't put me in that position, not just from an HR perspective, but that's not what I'm here for to hire people for you. I'm here to do my job. And if I have to, if I have to do this part, this is another job. So un help them understand this is this is, you know, making them you educate them on another level. You're saying know what you're asking. You're asking me to be an HR specialist now. You know, you just have me here doing data, data entry, you know, and if I'm doing HR. This is a whole nother situation and they'll pivot because you were doing data entry before I got here. And now I took that off your hand. So that should make it easier for you to find a, the best candidate for you to work with. And I don't care who, you see what I'm saying? So you have to reverse engineer this thing. But when you're working like government entities, we, that, that's, that's, and we teach our kids this. You, oh, go get a government job. Stay there until you're 100. You know, and you're just comfortable there. And you're thinking that you're doing something, but you're not. So that's when the new girl or the new guy come in and everybody's mad because they're coming in pumped up, ready to work. And he's, he's, he has to understand that we don't work after 3 o'clock and he's still working up to 6 and he making us look bad. And and, and, and now you, you, know, you don't even got a company culture no more. You got a company culture and you got a work culture. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's all garbage. And so this is what we're doing. And so we have to identify what are we going in here for? Because we get stuck. Because we get the $40,000 at, at, at 25 years old. And so you get your car, you get your little crappy apartment. And in two years later, you make the 60000 You get you a house. Next thing you know, what? Now that you they didn't you ain't getting a raise no more for five years and that sixty thousand not enough but you wrapped your whole life into that and you can't do anything else and so maybe they might give you five thousand or ten thousand but you still you already been behind now you got kids and you still there and now you ready to kill somebody that come and look like they about to get more money than you when you come in there and and this is this is what happens and this is this is this is beyond the color barrier. Because it could be somebody that looked like one of y'all lovely sisters and, and, and is a white person or, or, or whatever kind of person. Because it, it's not even a race thing after a while. It's just this person can take my spot. Because what happens is a college kid will come in there for less money and knock it out the park. And then you know what? They know more than you because you got your degree 20 years ago. And they, they're on Google. And like you said, they're more educated. And they're saying, well, you know, I'm working here. But in two years, I'll be in a $100,000 job. And they wasn't giving out hundred thousand dollar jobs right out of school when we got out of school. I know not when I did. They they are now. Well, the pre COVID they were, depending upon what city you was going, you were living in. And these kids know that 
these kids know that. And and they're not they're not dedicated to no job. Before it was if you leave a job, if you if your resume had multiple jobs and it looks bad. Everybody resume got multiple jobs on it now. So it's different. It's a game that we should not get caught up into.